the cloud there. Okay. So good morning, everybody. So here's the assignment that I posted onto Google Classroom. And the two resources I say, listen to this podcast and watch this video. So I made a video and I posted a podcast that inspired the video. I ask everyone to write a short summary in 60 to 80 words, answering this question. So I'll underline the question. And this is where I will chat with every, get everyone to uh, start discussing. What do you not miss about 2019? What does that mean, not miss? Take a few minutes and think for a minute. What does it mean, what do you not miss? To miss is to want something that you don't have, that you used to have. <clears throat> Not miss means you don't miss it. I'll give you an example. Uh, I don't miss uh, commuting to work. The traffic or a crowded subway or a crowded bus. I don't miss that about 2019. Can anyone else think of something they don't miss? Mm, for me, the same, but I do not miss about the long lines that happen sometimes in some places. All right, so here's, here's a good example. That's a good example. I'm going to switch to a whiteboard right here, and I'm going to post a sort of an activator question. What do you not miss about 2019? And that was uh, Belkis, right? Belkis. Oh, Belkis, I'm sorry. So first thing is commuting to work. Long lines. Long oh, yeah, because people have to stand far apart right now. Yeah. Nice. And now, sometimes, and now, for example, if you want to go in a restaurant, well, it has always been there, you know, the appointments, but now mm -hmm. it's like more required. Yes. Yes. They have to know you're coming. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, that's a great example. Um, and I think rest restaurants are a really good example. Uh, making appointments requirements. Moving forward, do you think that this is a good change that we should keep? Or do you want things to go back to 2019? No. <laughs> I prefer doing a a everything by appointment. All right. I keep guess. appointment a appointments or restaurant reservations appointments or reservations all right so yeah this is a great example good job belkaris great example of a change so that's a change that something has changed our lives in the past year and a half and it's a change you would like to keep uh my example as um or like I said in the video, um, there's certain changes about teaching that I want to keep. For instance, uh, I like the flexibility of being able to teach lessons like this that are live, and for people who cannot make it to class, they can. I can still communicate with them and do work over Google Classroom. I think that's a good change. Um, restaurants, appointment-based 
there's also more outdoor seating. The example from the podcast was um, you can get cocktails to go. More things are outside. Many people like these changes, but not everybody. Who can think of another uh, change that you like? All right, you know what? Let me actually say crowded restaurants. I like the change for school. I prefer to study online than in person. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right. Uh, who is that? I didn't see the video panel open. Sylvia. Sylvia, great, 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 great. Um, let's see. Okay, in person classes, stay remote. All right. All right. Can anyone else think of a good change? What about doctor's visits? Sometimes it's good if, uh, for example, I have uh, two teenagers and if they don't have to take like a shot or something like that, I prefer the appointment online. Okay. okay. Remote doctor visits. All right, so for the writing assignment, what I'd like everyone to do is be able to think of several changes, just you know, one or two changes in our, to our lives that we think are good, that we don't wanna go back to. Because oftentimes when people talk about going back to normal, uh, there are some th things that maybe we shouldn't go back to. And it's different for everybody. So I wanna hear, uh, I wanna take a minute, give everybody a moment to write. Uh, I'm gonna put normal here, normal question mark. I'm gonna ask everyone to write a sentence or two. These are some examples, but I want everybody to be able to share. So I'm gonna say, write a sentence or two. About Changes that you like, which, or I should say, let me say this differently. What like about the world today, which you would not, uh, let me say this simply, to about a good change because of the pandemic. That's, that's it. What's a positive change? Because people talk so much about the negative, what is a positive change? So I'll give everybody two to three minutes and then I wanna, and then we'll do sort of a round robin share. What's a positive change? Because everybody I think can think of something that's positive. So I'll be, I'll give everyone um, a few minutes. I'll set the timer on my phone. I'll give everybody uh, three minutes. So we'll keep the whiteboard up. Okay, so there it is, a three minute timer. I just sat right there. Okay, start doing a little bit of writing.
Okay, with less than one minute to go. I'm looking in the chat. Looks like some very interesting thoughts here. All right, so time's up. Okay, so I'm looking in the chat. Uh, we've got some very interesting ideas from Celia, Ephraim, Salvador, and Alexander. I would like to see uh, if anybody would is interested in reading theirs aloud. Do I have any volunteers? Oh, I can read. All right, fantastic. Go for it, Alexander. So uh, I read my, yeah? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for me, it's the most positive changes is that many service services now have possibility of online access. Like they have their own website and you can uh, use your computer or laptop and or even phone and if you have an internet access and you can, for example, apply documents for something and, and do other stuff online. For example, I Thank can you, Alexander. pay yeah. my uh, bills uh, for some services, for example, like I don't know. Phone bill, all these other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very good. Alexander, can you, uh, who would you like to share next? You can choose anybody you want. You've got, <laughs> here are your choices. You've got Vandana, Salvador, Ephraim, Gary, yeah. And uh, Belkaides. Let's it. It will be Ephraim. Ephraim. All right. 
Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, Alexander. Yes, I think there are, there are a lot of thing, positive things uh, I can say about change, life changing. But I think the washing hands is one of the, of the most uh, good thing because uh, all, did we all know that you have to, to, to wash hands uh, before, before you eat something, before meal? Uh, but uh, sometimes we, we we just forget about that, or we just uh, how can I say? Sometimes we just have a have some neglect uh, to the to, to wash the hands. But now I can see everyone everyone does not need a meal to remember to to wash the, the hands, but uh, this just come like a reflex so in the other in the other uh, good things i think the washing hands is one of them okay so people just just doing that very uh, every time every well i don't know but for me it's like that uh, I, I I come from outside. I'm washing my, my hands. I'm gonna heat. I'm going back to wash my hands. So I think uh, between all the good things, I can see the washing the washing hands is is one of them for me. Thank you, Ephraim. I I do the same thing. I I know if, if I go in and outside, I always wash my hands first thing I do when I come inside. Yeah, uh, Ephraim, who would you like to share? Uh, let's see, Salvador. Salvador. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, a good change for me is to stay at home more time with my family. What what kinds of things do you do with your family now? Uh, because I work at night. Uh, Oh, uh, well, I said, what, what do you do with your family since you have more time with them? Uh, play games, read books. What do you do with your family because you're at home more? Uh, I, I, can, I, I can cook with my family. I can do exercise. I can go around the neighborhood. Uh, nice. Because uh, my wife don't don't have to go to the school. She is a counselor. Right, right. And now she she go uh, online. So Some let's hear. Uh, mm. Thank you so much, Salvador. Let's hear from two more, two more people. Who would you like to hear from, Salvador? You can choose from uh, Bandana, Balcaires, Gary, and Celia. Uh, Balcaires. Balcaires, all right. Um, well, for me, a chance that has that I have noticed at the beginning of the pandemic was the um, the environment because it has improved. You know, the air has become um, like clear because uh, um, the cars hasn't go, it, how can I say it? It's like um, it's, it has less contamination. 
you do more stuff you you can see um a lot of cars on the street um you know that can cause some um toxic gas to the air and maybe pollution contam yeah. yes pollution and can contaminate the air so for me it could be that excellent all right, let's hear from one more person. Uh, Belkaides, who would you like to hear from? Um, let's see, um, Bandana. Bandana, what's something, what's a positive change you can think of? Um, for me, I think, uh, the positive changes of the pandemic is uh, um, we will take the online classes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when you should to go in class in person, you have uh, uh, every time you have something to do, you can go in class. Now, if you want to take the class online, you you will have more time to take the class. Excellent, excellent. So now I'm gonna take several examples and I'm gonna give a prompt. I do not miss. So if we are going to describe uh, all these examples, if we're going to describe Belkaitis's change of um, air quality, if we're going to describe um, Vandana's uh, flexibility of online classes, uh, if we're going to describe Alexander's uh, positive change of more online bill payment options. If we're going to talk about uh, Ephraim, you, oh, I'm sorry, Ephraim, you were early. Hold on a second. Uh, washing hands, yes. Hand washing for Ephraim. And uh, we also, oh yeah, and uh, spending time with family for Salvador. Did I miss anybody? think so yes so if we're going to highlight all of these how would we answer the prompt in the homework what do you not miss about 2019 so the best way to <clears throat> so the the homework says answer this question what do you not miss about 2019 <clears throat> pardon me how could we phrase that here so what I'm gonna do is give you examples. I'll start with uh, Ephraim's example of hand washing. If Ephraim points out more hand washing as a positive change, a good thing, then Ephraim can say something like this. I do not miss the carelessness of 2019. People would get their hands dirty, shake hands with everyone, and then are, you know, sneeze in their hands and then eat lunch. Mm -hmm. If I say that, I think, oh my goodness, we were so disgusting in 2019. Why would we ever want to go back to that? So uh, I'm giving an example of how you could phrase that and saying, oh my goodness, we want, uh, if we look at the idea of returning, when do we go back to normal? Ephraim could say, I don't want to go back to normal because we were dirty. We we're filthy, disgusting people in 2019. And now we've learned our lesson and we're smarter and cleaner. So that's one example. Uh, if we're talking about Alexander's uh, bill pay options, 
Alexander can say, I don't miss. Uh, it's, it's not taking... just on the bills. It's like yeah, yeah. As online services like. OK. Uh, were you talking about more? Would you include uh, the more cashless payment options? It's like uh, paper. I, I think more paperless. Like you don't need, Excellent. for example, you don't need to go to offline office and apply your document like it was a paper. You can apply it online. Yeah, right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, but so how would teacher. you like to phrase that? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Yes, I, I, I want to add something about the online uh, process. Sometimes so, uh, things are really uh, take time because a lot of people try to 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 get online at the same time, and yes. the, I think they are a little problem about that because you know there are some 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 services uh, you can only uh, doing that online, and imagine when you are doing that, one million people. Mm -hmm. Uh, already did or uh, did the same the same thing like you. So the system mm -hmm. can be busy, and you you can call and cannot find anyone to answer your call. So I think. Oh yes, absolutely. Teacher, can I ask? You make a good point. Something? Yeah. Sure. Okay, teacher. For me, go back to normal. Depend the situation. What I what I don't miss in the COVID nineteen, the people go over the COVID nineteen. He don't offer the COVID nineteen. He he help some other one. He keep working to make this country grow up. That. I, I didn't. Hear. Did she, I, did, I can't. Did, I can't hear hear you clearly, Gary. I'm sorry. Can Can you say it again? I don't miss what. Oh, okay. What I don't miss in the COVID nineteen, the people go over the COVID nineteen. When I say they go over the COVID nineteen, means he keep working, he keep do the right thing to help the other people with the COVID-19. And that the, and if we can, if stay like that, make this country down, it better to go back to the normal. Go back to the normal, not means, it is not mean put the other people in dangerous. That's mean take some measure to make everybody safe and to have to 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 go back to the normal if when you say like that the country keep working keeps strong that's okay no, we don't need to go back to the normal if stay like that put this, this country down it better to take some measure to go back to the normal that's what i think we um, need to be safe okay no, we need to be safe and we need to this country up not down that what well, i think okay no I, I hear what you're saying um the question is what do you not miss about 2019 so everyone's what, trying everyone's thinking about positive what not changes miss, what that not miss so can you when you yeah go, so all these people give a specific over. example Okay, my specific example, all these all these people keep working go over the COVID-19 to help some people with the COVID-19 that I when you say go over, what is that? That's mean it keep working to help these people with the COVID-19. It keeps working to to put away the COVID-19. I'm still a little confused, but um I think we'll get uh Maybe work on, I think, work on clarifying what you mean. Okay, um, that's me. The but, people working in the hospital for the COVID-19, the pe people 
risk his life to help other people with the COVID-19. That means that's what I want to say. That I don't miss the okay. people. It's a, okay. The, um, the, the question is, before the pandemic, what do you not miss? So let me uh, give an example. I hear your point. I just want to bring it back to the original question. So uh, Ephraim's example of hand washing, Salvador's example of he enjoys spending more time with his family. So Salvador could say, I do not miss uh, only seeing my family. Salvador, how often would you see your family in 2019 compared to now? Every day. No, I was talking about 2019, two years ago. Uh, I, I miss to get there with the people. 20 years ago, only school. Say, say it again, Salvador. Uh, only on weekend. Ah, perfect. Beautiful. So this is, Salvador, this is how you could tell that story. You could say... I don't miss only seeing my family on weekends. Yeah. Because of COVID-19, I can now see them every day and we are closer. That could be a great way to, you, you could say, this is a positive change. I know you could say, I don't want to go back to only seeing my kids on for a Saturday and Sunday. So that, uh, that could be an example. Now, let's say... Ben, Vandana, I love your example of uh, talking about the flexibility of online classes. And I think teaching, uh, I, I remember when we, you oftentimes would come early to in-person classes and uh, there were a lot of problems with in-person classes. Do you remember some of them? Yes. <laughs> so uh let's and uh, let's talk a little bit about those problems that we can share with everyone else and bruna you and i were also uh in the same in-person classes um let's say if i'm talking from the perspective of a teacher i don't miss having to teach the same lesson eight times or more in an hour. So this is kind of a joke. So I'm gonna put a little smiley face. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean, Bruna and uh, Vendana? Yes, <laughs> Because sometimes, uh, Vendana especially, you are always very early to class and I would always see you as one of the first, but Vandana, so nice to see you. Good morning. I would have the coffee made, you know, it would be great. And then I would show everybody on the projector, okay, this is what we're going to do today. But because everybody's schedule is different, you know, people work at different times. Some people would come and they're so tired because they were working at night. You would have, I'd get a few people in class. Sometimes I'd explain. <laughs> yeah, tell when they lit, when they lit, they cannot find a place to sit down. It was horrible, yeah. Yeah, too much student in the class. But the class yeah. uh, are, are small. Yes, the yeah. space is too yeah. small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, let's, let's talk about, well, I, I'll say I don't miss having to teach the lesson eight times because I get five people come in and say, okay, here's the lesson. This is what we're going to do. And then everybody starts, you know, doing the activity. And then 10 people come and say, teacher, what are we doing? And I would say, oh, okay, let me explain again. Yeah. <laughs> and then another five people, teacher, what are we doing? Yes. <laughs> and then I'd start explaining. Two people walk in, hello, hello, hello. Okay. And then five people come in, then the class is starting to get full now. Okay, everybody, this is what we're going to do. And I realized, wait a minute, I've taught the same lesson again and again and again and again. <laughs> I don't have to do that anymore. So if you, and like I can record this class and show it on Google Classroom. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, so Bruna, Vandana, what do you not miss about in-person classes? You want to go, uh, Bruna? 
I do not miss. Or Vandana, what's something you do not and miss? I miss the classes there. <laughs> you do miss, okay. I miss. Yeah. Okay, tell I us miss. why. Because, you know, the people, they speak with each other, you know, for everything, you know. And now online is like, hi, how are you? Like that, it's not. I don't like this. I, okay. I want to be in a class to speak to for everything. It's not for the lesson or for for uh, everything. Okay. It's, uh, very good for the know the, each other. It's not. I don't like online. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So would you want? Are you somebody who would want to when you say go back to normal, travel in time back to 2019? Oh, yeah, I miss 19. I miss 19. Okay, so you like the that things time. the way they were. Yeah, I miss that. Okay. Time. Because now the people's like that take distance like that. Mm -hmm. In, All right. So, uh, my country, if you are uh, 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 with a, a people, you if you know some people, you go hug or uh, speak together. Now it's like, Take this time. Mm. I don't like this. Okay, that's a good point. Um, how many of you? I've actually uh, some, there's been some differences of opinions. Um, Ephraim, with your ha hand washing, you want to keep it. Do you think we should go back to? Um, we did more touching, you know, handshaking, more hugging, and all that stuff. Ephraim, how do you feel about Bruno's idea going back to you know the physical embracing we used to do? Mm, I think. I think uh, Brini, Brina, <laughs> sorry, Brina uh, uh, is right to say that uh, because the COVID nineteen uh, comes with some other rules, no hand mm -hmm. shanking, no hugs, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, in my country too, uh, when you when you uh, when you see friends, when you, family yeah yes when you see someone if any family uh, you you have to prove them uh, they are missing you uh, a, a good hug uh, a good ha a hand shaking so i think um, is is some is there are something in the 2019 they are missing me too uh, I think is half half. The the train the the train the COVID nineteen. Uh, how can I say? Give us something to to practice. So, so some good things, but I think there are some good things we are missing too. Uh, for example, the um, the friendship, the relationship between people. So. I can see there are some some va some values we are about to lose. So I can say if not if if the things becomes normal, uh, that will be great. That will be great. But uh, we have to uh, all, always take some some good thing about the the. the the new the new life for example the the the, the hand washing okay the hand washing the because the 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 health is is the best thing that that we can help but if even if you 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 have to hug somebody but you don't have to have some to do some neglect about something neglect uh, neglect yeah about mm -hmm. something we can save or protect our lives if you really love someone you have to you have to protect these people so that's my advice about that all right 
thinking, let's see, online bill, uh, more pay, cashless payments, more hand washing, spending time with family, air quality. We got a few more minutes. Um, does anyone else have anything they want to add about changes they want to keep or or if not, any, anyone have anything to add about um, what uh, what they definitely don't want to, um, or I should say what they do want to revert back to. For Br Bruna's example of uh, going back and back to 2019 is okay for her. Back to normal, yeah. So for Bruna, 2019 was just fine. She liked it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess now all, uh, just uh, you thing? go to work and home. I don't like so. Can, well, Bruna, outside. can you think of any any positive changes at all? Because uh, these are examples from other students. Uh, Belkadis is air, likes the air quality, less cars on the road. Alexander says more flexibility with online bill payments. Uh, Bandanas really enjoys the online classes. Ephraim likes the sanitation standards. Salvador, spending more time with family was the positive. Can you think of any positive changes or no, none at all? You could write that, Bruno. You could say, I have no positive changes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good has happened. That's fine. Okay. Can you think of anything? Have you gotten better computer skills? Now, my computer, my computer skills here. I'm not good for a computer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So every everybody but Bruna has found some positive changes. Okay, that's okay. But now it's a lot of work. A lot, lot of work. <laughs> because oh, some people work mm -hmm. some people no. Yes, and See, mm -hmm. for the COVID nineteen is uh, uh, the, uh, it's like the more business, uh, the small business is uh, is uh, all closed. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the people uh, don't work. You know, it's uh, uh, it's like uh, what's the uh, people who take the money for the government. Uh, uh, employee, I think it's uh, unemployment. It unemployment. Yeah, the people was like like that. Teacher. Well, there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh -huh. uh, about about the health equality. That's I think Ben Ben is a uh, is right to say that because the 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 pollution was a very very bad thing for for her her planet. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Uh, because now, since the the, con the since the, the containment, uh, we have very very less, very more less uh, mm -hmm. calls, more smokes, more pollution. So I think they, they are a good thing for the for our planet survival. Okay. All right. Yeah. They are they are qualities. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Bruna, there's one positive. There's one positive change. One good takeaway. It's not all sad. It's not all, <laughs> all not all depressing. So <laughs> I wanted to leave you with that. So cheer up, Bruna. Smile, smile about something. The idea was to get everybody to think of a of a good change. All right. Mm. Anyway, so that'll be. We'll wrap up class today, um, and uh, look forward to reading your writing. Teacher. And, yes. You have to think to return to normal. What's that? The question. Hmm? You. Me? Well, did you watch my video? Yes. There. Uh, that's exactly what I was. Uh, that, that was pretty much my, my take on it all. I, I outlined exactly what I want to go back, what I want and don't want to go back to, what I miss and I don't miss from 2019. Like so, for instance, the um, I do prefer online teaching. I do prefer um seeing the doctor online if i ha if i can and i do prefer cashless transactions so those those in particular uh i found as positive changes okay all right 
Well, it's good to talk to everybody. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. If I see you, I'll give you a hug. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Thank you, Simpson. Bye-bye.